Hi, welcome Living Waters Faith Center here back at you again. I'm Anna. I'm Desiree. And I'm Cruz. Well, we want to welcome you to another session of our Table Talk. So every week we might do something different, so be ready. We're going to start off with Desiree and her Scripture of the Week. So the Scripture of the Week this week is from Proverbs. It's Proverbs 18.10. And the King James Version says, The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it, and it is safe. So for us this week, um, we're going to be talking about strength. Our theme is strength. And Anna, can you tell us something about strength? Yes. Matter of fact, I want to talk about strength. We need strength in this time right now in our Lord Jesus Christ. Because everything's getting ready to open up, but yet, still again, we're here with the church not being an essential thing. We need the strength in our Lord to help us stand in this time when we're so persecuted we can't even worship our God. So we need the prayers of the people out there from our church. That's why we're here as church members together to support in prayer. We need prayers and we want to pray for you also for that strength. So we'll give it back to Desiree to talk a little bit more about that scripture. So in Proverbs 18, it's a really good chapter to talk about the strengths that people have and um, to be able to develop your humility and be able to um, strengthen your knowledge about different things, not to argue with one another about different things, but instead find lots, like it says in the Bible, um, which if you don't know, like I didn't know before this video, lots are dice or like to pull something like a short straw or something like that, but to use those type of things to settle arguments instead of continuously arguing with people or trying to find different things to help um, strengthen, like I said, your knowledge about different subjects so that we can continue to grow and um, not only strengthen our knowledge, but strengthen our faith and strengthen, you know, the different aspects that have to do with us being involved with one another and involved in church and prayer and everything. Um, we just have to be able to read the word and you know, gain more knowledge in the word to figure out how to do those things. So we're going to turn it to Cruz and ask her if she can maybe give you guys some examples of some strengths that she's had to endure in her life that have helped her in any different way. So from what she just spoke about right now, due to this whole uh, quarantine, a lot of people think negative stuff. They get thoughts of whatever is just it emphasizes it and it makes it bigger than what it truly is so as Desiree mentioned we need to focus more on reading the Bible um, having that peace with God and getting closer to him which allows us to know the word to be at peace with one another instead of just arguing and arguing over simple things that don't matter because it doesn't matter <laughs> So um, that's pretty much all I can think of. Well, thank you, Cruz. Thank you, Desiree. We really want you to get to know um, our church. And we're a very small congregation, but we're very powerful because we're not going to argue over things. We want to get along and show the real true brothers and sisters are in Christ. And even if we did have something, like she said, we're going to drop it. And we're going to rely on Jesus Christ to get us through. Uh, right now is a time of a lot of disagreements. And, n you know, nothing is going to, you know, be, you know, uh, the same eye to eye right now. But you know what we do can agree on and we need to agree on is Jesus Christ. Yes. And Jesus Christ can give us the strength to get through something like this. Because you know what? This is the time when we're getting near the end. So if you need prayer and you need strength, we want to pray with you. We want to get together with you. We can make a meet. Please reach out to us. And I'm going to give it back to Desiree so she can give you the details. So even if you're not completely ready to fully commit to meeting up, even just a simple text message or phone call, comment down below and um you know, try to get a hold of us and one of us will be able to text you if you just want to text, if you're not comfortable with phone calls, or maybe if you are comfortable with phone calls over text messages, we can 
sit on the phone with you and say some prayer, schedule a time to meet up with you and do some prayer, whatever you think would suit you best. We're willing to work around what you need to help get you closer to God because that's what, that's what our main goal is, is to bring people closer to God. So don't forget to comment below, subscribe, and come back when we have more videos.